Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to Andrea's Attic. This is an adult colouring channel and the videos are for adults and are not in any way, shape or form meant for children. We're just going to carry on doing our lovely girls from the Fashionable 50s book. I really do like this book. So we're just going to be colouring the rest of it in today in the pens and then at the next colouring chat we're going to do the um, some pencil over, over the top just to uh, give it a, you know, do some shading and stuff. So we're just going to do this. So uh, yeah, I've been meaning to film this for a while, but for whatever reason I just haven't got round to it. How are you all? Are you all okay? Uh, we're all great here. So, oh, first of all, I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate every one of you. And to all those of you who are new, uh, who have been here before, welcome back. You know who you are. Thanks for coming back. It is appreciated. Um, yeah, it really, really is appreciated that you keep coming back and uh, uh, supporting me with my... colouring endeavours so so these are records yeah everything's fine here I've been still selling on eBay haven't been listed I've been really naughty to be honest um, but that's my fault it's just because I, I, things happen you know like for instance last night Jennifer was not brilliant at sleeping she woke up needing a change which is fine I certainly don't have a problem with that she's uncomfortable and needs changing she's uncomfortable needs changing that's fine there's no issue with that at all um that was about midnight but that's okay I didn't mind that obviously um it's just that every time she wakes she, something happens it she it's literally just as I'm dropping off to sleep then she um started having night terrors so at 10 to 2, she starts thrashing and screaming and crying and yelling. And she's asleep and you can see as she's rolling around, she looks like she's in absolute agony. And this went on for a good 30 to 40 minutes. Eventually, um, she woke up and wanted me to pick her up, so I did. And she went to sleep in my arms then. And then when she went back to sleep, I left her for about 10 minutes to make sure she was really well asleep. And I put her back in her bed in her cot. She's still in her cot at the moment. No, not for much longer, I don't think. And I was fine. She was sound asleep then, very peaceful. And so I went back to bed and I'm just lying in bed. And then at 10 to 3, she starts screaming again. She's having another set. Now, this second set, to be fair, wasn't as bad or as long, which is good. Um... But still, obviously, I got up and I sat with her and I, I talked to her just to reassure her that I was there and it was going to be all right. And yeah, she was all right. She, she, she went back off then. But of course, it was gone half three then before I got to bed because obviously I, I was sitting, make sure she's OK for a bit. And then I went to the bathroom and uh, by the time I've wound back down enough to try and sleep... It's very, very late and I am so, I was so tired today. I was planning on taking her out, but to be fair, she was tired when she got home, so it wasn't so bad. So we uh, came home and um, Paul was working and he said, I'll just leave her on the sofa for now. So I left her on the sofa. She was watching, I want to say Monty and Me, which is a... Or Monty and something, Monty and Co. Something it's called. It is a um, a children's TV program, and she was watching Monty, and um, she fell asleep on the sofa. I came down, she was sound asleep. I said, "Oh, she's all right at the moment." And then she managed to get herself into a really strange position. I thought I'm going to have to move her, otherwise she's going to fall off. And I put her into her bed, and, and she was fine then. So she put her in a, a travel cot which is sort of like a playpen we put her in there if she's tired downstairs and or if we need to do some stuff and we don't want to get in the way like when I'm cooking she can't climb out of it she's usually good now it doesn't bother so much it doesn't get used that often it's a good touch job we had it today though because she went out like a light again 
she went straight back to sleep poor kid so yeah she was very tired I've got to be honest I've got to be honest she was bless her I'll do their belts when I so I'll do that there and there we'll leave that bit She's only got a little bit of belt there anyway. So it's going to be things like doing the poodle that's going to be the most interesting bit. So we're going to do a black poodle. So we're doing like that. We'll leave a face. We'll do the face sort of like grey because it's been um, shorn. As you can see, look, it's the style it just means with black you just can't see any of the definition so I'll just have to put that back in with the some pencils why well, I'm actually colouring it in the right shapes do a black lead as well oops that will happen <laughs> I am really liking this though I like this picture but yeah, and then we both had a little sleep and then when I got up, you know, like I said, I put it down and she was fine. I packed up my sails and while I was packing up I had another sail, so I obviously packed that one up as well. And then we had tea. And Jennifer was colouring then for a bit in her um my little pony book like I've got. I flipped through of it up the other day so I'll do the big bit of there a different colour slightly lighter colour sort of a grey instead of the black and uh, then she went to bed good as gold and she's been fairly quiet she made a little bit of noise earlier on when Paul came up I was watching um, something on ITV it's unusual for me to watch TV but uh, yeah it was on so I just left it on I was watching it, it was alright. While I was doing my eBay listings and my measuring. Do you know I missed a bit of the dress. I can't remember what colour it was now, was it? It was one of the reds. Is it just red? Let me just have a quick check of the colour. I don't know what colour it was. Yeah, I think it was just red. That's okay, we'll do that now. Here we are. Now, what kind of should we do? I think I'll do her scarf red because she's a bit, a bit missing off of her green top there as well. You do miss bits, but it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll sort it out. So I'm just trying to finish the girls off. Um, oh, she's got some. I'll give her the same colour red in her ponytail thing. She's got bands in her hair here, so we'll do them to match her skirt. We could have done it to match her top, really, but uh, that's better. We just always oh, got to do this one now. There's so much on here to do. I'm going to use a different colour on the telephone. Put that one back because I finished with. I think I finished with that one, yeah. So I won't use it on the Eiffel Tower. I use one of the darker greys. Um, oh, excuse me, I've got terrible indigestion. I do get it occasionally. So we're just going to do. I'm just going to colour this in with this red, and then we'll put some pencil over the top of it. So we could have done it cream or green. They're usually a brighter red, but you can get them a dull sort of red as well. Okay. That's that. 
I still think they look like they're having a right little gossip, don't they? She looks shocked. Shocked, she's shocked. <laughs> okay, um, grey. Grey, grey, grey. Now I don't want a too a dark grey and I don't want too light grey. How about, hmm, oh, that one, army grey, that's a nice colour. And it's only for just doing bits and that are going to be highlighted and, and blended and have other colours on. So we have a bit on there, like that. We could have gone a bit lighter on that, but that's fine. It'll dry a bit lighter than it actually is, actually, so that's, that's going to be fine, that is. Okay, we'll just put that around the edge as well. Bit there. And then this one. Missed a bit there. We'll do that grey because it's sort of behind there. So I want to go find that green out again, haven't I? It was apple green, I think. Pretty sure it was. There we go. I'll use that again in a minute. Where's that apple? Was it apple? Was it pale? It might have been pale actually. Let me just check. Pale and that. Oh, it was definitely pale. I'll tell it by the way it's lightened off. It's just a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit in there. Just check there's no more. Yep, that's it. I do really love these markers, the Arteza Everblend. I really do like them. I know some people say that it'll stay in the page behind it and in front, especially the reds. But I find if you leave the book open overnight so that this dries completely, and then you leave, again, a page underneath, like this one, I've got two pages there and it's not gone through at all. There's no yellow in on there. And it's because I've left that in the book and I've left that there. Um, if you, if we do the shoes next. I do think that if you, do do it make sure you um some of it we are going to leave white for when we do the pencils because it would just be white shading so, so some gray on the shoes here at the back here um they all strange shoes and the, and the laces as well we would uh, do that but this you know i love this picture I love anything to do with the 50s, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I've always been into 50s music and 50s fashion. I wish I could wear it. I am too overweight. I, I mean, I know I could, but I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't feel right. And then I love um, the films and the clothes. I think it's all amazing. The makeup, to me, it's, oh, it's much better than the 60s and the 70s, the 80s I grew up in, so the 80s are alright, but do you know what? The 50s are the best, and my mum would agree, because she was 10 and 54. So she absolutely loves the 50s. And early 60s, she wasn't so keen on the late 60s when it was got all hippies and psychedelic she wanted into that I guess part of that was part of her upbringing because her mum died giving birth to her she was brought up by her dad and her grandmother and her grandmother was very Victorian but she was a Victorian basically so she um yeah that one was a, a, a very Victorian woman so 
do the, how have they done the Eiffel Tower? They have just done it in, in greys, that's fine. So I'll just do it in one block colour and then I'll put some different layers on when we do the shading later. And I'm going to do the same with the dog now. I need a slightly darker grey for his um, last bit of fluff, but I'll find one in a minute. So like I said, we're just doing all the marker work today. We'll finish off all the markers. I've got to do her earrings at the top. And then in the next one, we'll get some pencils. I'll probably use the Black Widows. And I will um, you know, just shade over it with similar colors. So I do need a darker color. For the, I think, what about mink? This is a picture I'm actually using different greys on. I never use different greys. I hate grey. Grey is one of my least, least favourite colours. But I am actually using more of them on this one. So he's going to have a slightly lighter fluff there. He wouldn't in reality, it's just... Right. Of course they could have dyed in pink. And then we've got oh, that was stone grey, I've just used that one. A slightly lighter colour again. Oh dear, I can't get it back in now. That's the only problem sometimes with the Everblend case, it can be difficult to get them back in. Blush grey, that's perfect for what I want. And we're just going to do his uh, or her skin and face just to. In reality, it would have just been black. There wouldn't have been any definition on it. It would have just been a piece of black felt shaped like a poodle. In reality, it wouldn't have, have tried to look like a real poodle. That one. There you go. And I'll put a little bit of grey around here. And here. We're just going to grey shoes. There's a bit. To show you what I'm doing now. Just putting some, although they're more likely to have been white, just to give it a bit of definition. We will shade the um, the socks with pencil rather than marker. Okay, lovely. So we want to. Uh, I've, got, I've got a background. I'm going to use purple. Orchid purple for the floor and the back of that, I think. Yeah. Right, so checkers. How much fun we can have with doing the checkers, eh? <laughs> Let's get them on screen. So what have I got planned for this week? I've got a lot of filming to do this week. Um, next week I've got a week off. Yay! Um, so I will we'll still be, we'll be at home. We can't go anywhere because we're still in lockdown. Uh, so we'll be, I've got Friday off, so I've got three more days in work, yay! Uh, Jennifer will go to nursery on Friday, um, but she won't be going next week because we'll be on holiday, I just got to let them know. Um, so we're not going anywhere, we're just going to have the week off and lie in and have fun and play. Um, I kind of don't want to take her out of it, but I don't want her there in case we decide to go off in the borough. So it's hard to know what to do. Maybe I'll just let her go Tuesday, Thursday, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, she can stay at home. I'll speak to Paul, but see what he thinks, because obviously it's up to him as well. You got there, girl, too. So she, uh, yeah, bless her. <laughs> So my plan is, tomorrow is Tuesday, so you're seeing this on Tuesday, so I'm filming this Monday night, so on Tuesday I'm going to photograph as many items as I can, clothing, I've got a load of really nice dresses to get listed and some tops, so I'm going to do as many of them as I can tomorrow, I'm not going to worry about 
you know, if I only do 20 or if I only do 10, that's fine. Because I can always do some more on Wednesday night. Because I'm filming tonight. Oh, I've just done that the wrong colour. Oh, no. I'm going to have to get a white marker out. I've got a Posca somewhere. I'll fix that after. That's my fault. Uh, that's what happens sometimes when you talk. You don't pay attention to what you're doing and it all goes pear-shaped. <laughs> I'll get, a, I'll get a white pen and Posca out and fix that later, it's fine. I'll get a white pen and fix it. I've got a Posca pen somewhere. Plan on using some Posca on it somewhere. Whoops a doos! And you can't even see, see I've made a mistake there, but that's okay, it's, it's fixable. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to put this up and I've got a couple of flip throughs that I'm going to film tonight as well after this one of some new books I've got and they'll be going up over the next couple of days hopefully Karen Heaven will be here soon so I can get a flip through that up as well as soon as that happens because I do like to get it up as soon as I can um, so yes eBay tomorrow and then on and now I've got to make sure I get this right so that's got to be purple. So if I do that one first, I know I'm in the right area. <laughs> oh, checkerboards, I hate them. Um, yeah, so we got... Uh, I'm just trying to think what I was saying then. Um, Wednesday, again, more working. And then I might film Wednesday night. I might photograph. It depends on how much stuff I've got photographed and drafted. If I've got a load of stuff photographed but not drafted, I'll, uh, I'm certainly not going to do photographing because it just adds to the more drafts I've got to do. Um, I've got to get it drafted. And then I can film another one of these when we do the um, marker work. And not the marker work, the pencil work on it. Hopefully. Because I'm not big on doing pencils on to over markers, so it's a bit of a learning curve for me. But I'm going to give it a go and see how it works out and we'll, we'll learn together. And then Thursday will probably be an eBay day. And then, well, I might even have a night off. Yeah, for now. It does happen occasionally. And just colour for me. Obviously I've got to, no, Wednesday will be a filming day because it's the end of the month so I've got to film my end of the month videos just thought about that I've got to film my um, completed pages and my haul video it's not a huge haul like it has been the last few months I've got to film my my horror horror uh, books as well to put that up that's going up on the first I think um, although I will be buying more books there's a there are some horror books I do want to get that's got to be purple there I want to get at least one of the beauty of horror ones and I might get another Deborah Muller I haven't decided yet and then that one's there so yeah I've got to get the um I've got lots of different videos so I will be filming on Wednesday definitely because I've got a uh, haul and my wrap up of the month. I've done a lot of pages this month. I'm hoping this might be one of them. I don't think it will though. I think this will be going over into October just because I haven't, we haven't done the pencil. It depends, it depends. I don't have to film it on, uh, on, I don't normally film it on Wednesday on the last day of the month. I usually film it on the first day of the next month. I usually, just simply because I like to give myself the whole month to colour in so it's accurate. I'm just a bit obsessive that way, I like it to be accurate. So I've still got a couple more pictures I need to try and finish off. So I'm going to do that for various videos. Obviously I've got the second part of the Castle Arts to finish. It's nearly finished guys. Um, I'm just finishing off the picture and it's not quite ready but it's not far off so as soon as it is done I'll be filming that so I'm hoping I'm going to film that, finish that off tomorrow that's that let's do the bottom of the box here now I'm going to put some possibly some glitter gold glitter gel on these little stars and the lights 
I think. But I'll do that last after we've done the pencils as well. Because the glitter does tend to go everywhere on the glitter gel pen. So we'll leave the stars till last and the little lights on here. And we'll... Uh... Of course, we've got two records on there I've missed, but that's okay. I'll sort them out in a minute. And these little shards that look like they're coming out the records. I'm going to do the same colour as the record label. But again, I will do them in the glitter. So if it's a red label, there'll be red shards. If it's a blue label, there'll be blue. There'll probably be a red one and a blue one. Let's just give it a bit of sparkle. So I think we will... Use this pur lovely purple on the sea. I like this colour, this is really nice. And on the H. Oops. And then we're going to use, that's that done, a, I think I'll use, what colour is this? Spring green on this bit around the edge. It's a nice, color, nice bright colour, isn't it? And then Friday, I am going to spend the morning doing some, any filming that I need to finish off. So, for instance, I've got another couple of um, things to do. I have got, if you watch the day vlog, I've got the art teaser pencils now. So I need to film part one of First Impressions. I haven't done that yet. Because uh, I had to sort the tin out and then get the... Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember. put them in order and I've, I've written them down in the swatch book ready but I haven't done it yet so I will do that soon I missed the grey on that one as well so that's okay I'll get a lighter grey for this Oof, what we're getting now we're nearly done it's only the background um, and a few little bits to do now and we're there and uh, the next one will be pencils. I think I might do the centres of the record shiny as well, just to give it a bit of sparkle. I can't have a page like this without a bit of sparkle on it. It's got to, in it? Okay, let's go back to that black so we can do the records. Well, we're nearly at 30 minutes, guys, so... Crazy man. I know it'll be going off soon as well, so I have to keep an eye on it because it does. Have a nice um, break, I think. Nice to have a week off work anyway, even if we can't go away. I mean, we'd all rather go away, but it's we've got to be sensible. It's not safe. It's not safe anyway, is it? Let's be honest. Give us this one. No, one that one. Oh, I guess this one is fine. Yeah, so I mean, we've got you've got to be safe, and it's not safe to go out at the moment, um, out of the area. There's just too much going on with Corona, and it's just ridiculous. I can say that because I'm not monetized, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just a matter of just chilling, and we'll have a week off, and we'll go where we can. I mean, we can go to some places because we're in Caerphilly. We can go to Blackwoods. 
it's gone off so we just can't go out of Caffili at the moment now this may well change next week or even at the end of this week um, he's supposed to be reviewing it yes if he lifts it and says we can travel outside the boat it would be annoying because we cancelled our holiday um, but I think we had to I think we had to do it just to be on the safe side I do I really do because it was it's just not worth the risk and I think while I'm sad and I would have loved to have gone on holiday oh believe me I would have it's just not worth it. It's not worth the risk. It is really, really not worth the risk um, to do so. Um, a pink. I don't really want to... Where's that watermelon pink? Is that that one here? Macaroon? Maybe macaroon. That would be nice. It's a nice pale pink. Oh, God, I'm getting stiff, I am. That's the problem with sitting here for so long. You tend to get stiff. We are nearly done. I'm probably going to do the white checkers in a slightly different colour. It'll be off-white. It'll be a very pale colour, but I will have to do the one block separately because if I, it's going to... I've got the um, purple on it. But I actually don't. I like this colour. It's a really nice colour. So Jennifer, when I went to pick her up today, she was kicking a ball about with a little boy. They were throwing the ball to each other and kicking it to each other. It was so cute. I love watching them play in the garden while I'm waiting for them to get her. Um, they're out the back, but it's such a big space that you can see them a little bit. Um, they're totally safe and secure in there, though. They're, nobody could get in there, which is great. And it's just lovely to see her. She always looks so pleased to see me. And they said how polite she is for a two and a half year old. She's got very good manners. But she always says please. And we try and get her to say thank you and we, when we give her something. So, And her granddad has been doing a lot of that with her saying please and thank you. And counting with her. He's a really good teacher to be honest, my dad. And she learns a lot from him, I think. So it's a shame she can't spend a lot of time with him at the moment because of the situation. Um, but it is what it is. It'll pass. Ooh, I am getting very, very stiff here. So I'm going to have to move in a minute. It's just the way I'm sitting. I'm sitting on a very strange angle. So I'm going to move slightly. Oops, everything moved then, not just me. Um, and just to sit under the camera. Because I film on a, an SLR, or a DSLR as they're called these days, I um, have a very big tripod. I don't have a phone filming set up. I was thinking of getting one. But as long as you guys are happy with the way I'm filming, it'll be alright for the time being. I might change it at some point. I know the quality is probably slightly better on this than if I did it on my phone. Yeah, I like this picture. It's mad, we've nearly actually finished it. There's a few bits I'm going to do now. I haven't even touched the background. So I don't know, should I do that now? Or should I just do that off camera and come in and do the rest of it with you? I'll have a think about that. See how many minutes we're on by the time I uh, get the rest of the bits done that I've got to do. So. Okay, so I'll do the sparkly bits when we do the pencil work later in the next one. Coloured in with a colour called pearl. It's brown actually. 
Um, what else was I going to do in this? The belts. And she can have dark blue bangles when I find a blue. There's a nice blue. So she can have a blue. And then she have different colours actually. She had a blue there. Then we'll have this uh, dark yellow, which is pear, pear green, it's called. I don't know. Well, that's a funny colour, isn't it? And then pearl here. And then I'm just going to colour the floor in that colour as well. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do the one that I messed up at this point, so I'll try and do it. You, see, you can't even see the colour, it's so light. It's there and it's almost like a very light pink. And I'm just trying to think what colours to do for the background. Should I do it green or should I do it blue? It's going to be a funny, one of those off colours. It's not going to be the, so it won't go over the top. So I'm going to have to wipe that out first. So I'm just uh, wondering. Oh, excuse me. Oh, this is the background. Like I said, I'm not worried about the record centres because I'll do them with the. The glitter pens later and um, the same with the shards and the stars and the lights so again if I've gone over it doesn't matter because it'd be going over it with glitter pen oh, that's the one I've made a muck up on there's a bit I missed on there I missed the corner so it's easy to miss bits I'll grab that as well in a sec I'll do that when I'm fixing it I do like this picture. Yeah, I definitely want to put some pencil over the top to give it a little bit more. Oh, my, my tripod's moving. I do apologise. I don't know what's going on there. It's sinking slightly. So, yeah, we're all right. It's just a matter of cracking on with the day. Like I said, we have a week off and I'll still be posting videos every few days um, because we're not going away. I would have been filming a uh, holiday vlog, but obviously that's not happening now, unfortunately. <laughs> Meh. But the main thing is that we're all safe and healthy and well and we will get out and I will be vlogging the week um, wherever we may go. Um, take you with me, show you a bit of Wales. Tell you a bit of where we live. I mean, we are likely, if they lift restrictions, we're likely to be the first county to come out of restrictions because we're the first ones to go into it so I'm wondering what colour should I buy I'm thinking this maybe this spearmint green peppermint green I see what colour that is oh no don't like that well I do like it but I don't like it for the thing um let's have a look what else we got um What's up here? Um, olive, lime. What about lime? What colour is lime? What's that look like? No, that's neon. And you put neon out there. I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, that's the colour. Do you know what? I missed a bit of that spring green at the top there. Just pull it down. See if I can get to it. there. It is like that. I missed this bit up here. I can't really see it because the blinking, that's the chisel end. I don't like the chisel end. I missed this bit and that's not the right colour. The spring green. I always go over it. It's just 
go over that and make sure it's all the same colour. Doesn't matter about the lettering, that can be different. Oh, I'm not doing very well. that green either. I'm sorry I'm really really floundering over what colour. Maybe lilac. What colour is that? No, it's too like the floor. I'm gonna have one of those when I'm like humming and hollering about what colour to do in the background. Green tea? No, it was 260s. Peppermint was too bright. Um, Pine, that does not look pine green, that looks like a blue. Ooh, it's a very nice blue, but it's a bit dark for what I'm going for. What about teal? <laughs> we'll make a decision in a minute, don't worry. Oh, it's nice, but um, yeah, okay, we'll use teal. And if I, if you don't like it, it's my fault, not yours. So I'm just going to colour in as much of the background as I can in the next few minutes before we call it a day. Because as you can see, I can't get the book in the right place now, so... So we won't obviously go into the music. Notes will keep them like they are on the cover, which is white. So I've enjoyed this picture. Colour's not too dark. I think it's alright. Doesn't ruin it. It'll look brighter when it dries. It's just very dark when they're wet. I've got time. I might even read something tonight. Or listen to my audio book while I'm uh, finishing off something I've got to do. Ah, cramp. Oh, that's not good. I'm moving again. I'm moving again, guys. I'm moving. Actually, it looks quite nice on camera, that colour. I'm moving again. There we are. I've moved. Oh, dear me. What a palaver, hey? Yeah, it looks quite nice on the camera, actually. Yeah. I need to get another 80s colouring book. I think the only decade I haven't actually got is, well, I think, think I've got 60s and I know I haven't got 70s, so I might have to have a look at getting uh, them. I think they used to be a movie posters colouring book, I wouldn't mind that. Just never got it when I knew. I know well, there was one. It might be out of print there, which would be a shame. But if it is, it is. I ain't gonna worry. I certainly got plenty of them. Very soon I'll be having a reorganisation of my bookshelves as well because um, I'm sorting out my book, my Hollywood bookshelf, so I can put all my Hollywood books together. It's very slow going because I'm just lazy at doing it basically. But it just means that when I've cleared, sorted, edit it out. I've got um, more space for colouring books because uh, it fills up a shelf, uh, it empties a shelf on what is one of the Marilyn Monroe bookcases but I'm not likely to get that many Marilyn Monroe books in the near future because I'm just not putting them out anymore so I don't need all that space for Marilyn at the moment so I'm going to put the unused colouring books on the one shelf and then on the bottom shelf I can put my, my whips, new books for hauling and my completed pages I'll have one complete shelf for just Jade Summer because I've got that many books by Jade Summer brand and what will happen is I'm going to put all the all of them on there used and unused and all the used will be on the left as I look at it on my left as I look at it and all the ones I haven't coloured in will be on the right as I look at it and that way it just gives me some space on my unused book, colouring bookshelf for uh, other 
types because I don't put the Colour in Heaven books on that shelf at the moment because it's not big enough. They're slightly taller so they have to go on a, a separate shelf lying down until I use them and then they go on the shelf with the Jade Seller one which is the right size but um, yeah and the idea is just to rearrange the books in such a way that I'm making the best use of the space so the Jade Summer will be all together used and unused whips no and then there'll be that'll be the top shelf the next shelf down will be Colour in Heaven and also along that shelf will be um, books like Hannah Lynn and Selena Fennec and um, Camellia Angel Cova. So um, artists I've got quite a few books of. And the, the, the taller, taller style books are the, what we call A4 in the UK, the A4 size books. Then the next shelf down will be all the other ones that have been coloured in. Then the next shelf after that is currently holding my horror collection or my Halloween books and my completed pages for this month and my smaller colouring books so like the, the smaller size like nice little town I haven't coloured in that I've got it but I haven't coloured in it um, but I also got some other small books on that shelf so that'll be for the smaller books because obviously the new books won't be going there it's also somewhere where I keep some of my supplies occasionally but it's full of books at the moment so I can't so I am trying to finish off as many whips as I can I'm hoping I won't finish another two. It really depends on what I get done tomorrow after I finished with my eBay photos. I need to photograph at least 10 items, preferably more. Um, 10's easy. It doesn't take long. It just gets very hot in this room with the daylight lamp on, the photo lamp. So, and it's just ugh, it's horrible really, it gets so sweaty, but it, I, I need to do it so, I mean at the moment I've got plenty of stuff to draft and measure, so I'll measure some more tomorrow and then I'll come up and photograph and then I'll go down to be measured as well, but uh, yeah, it's all going, it's going fine, we're in profit again, I've got to do my tax return next week as well, so that's going to be fun isn't it, I, I did the first one, the first year I did it, I did it in June, and I don't like leaving it, but I also know I'm not going to be able to get into it, so I'm going to have to phone HMRC. Which is fine, because HMRC are fantastic. They're lovely people, they really are helpful. I had to phone them about something else not long back, and they were brilliant. And uh, it's just the hassle of having to phone them. and, and... But it, it's fine, they'll help me get into it, and then I'll just do a tax return, submit it, and pay any tax that's owing straight away. <laughs> it might be a little bit... Oh, I missed a bit of a hair there. How did I miss some of the hair? I'm really dull. Can't remember what colour it was now. I'm trying to move around. Um, I have many browns in here to be fair. So, I think it might be this one. I don't know, but it won't really matter because it's only a little bit of a... That's fine. It's only a tiny little bit, but it's just like... So we have actually done 48 minutes today so far, but we're nearly done now, so there's only a little bit left. So yeah, I've got to do my tax return. I do keep myself busy. I don't have time to be bored. I really do not have time to be bored. So people who say they're bored, nah, -uh. don't let yourself be. There's plenty to do out there. If you've got an interest, Research it, you know, for instance, I like history, I like ancient Egypt. I'll go through a phase of <laughs> oops, researching ancient Egypt and reading and watching documentaries on ancient Egypt and nothing else. Um, I'm into re research on who Jack the Ripper was and true crime. And I've got a few books on Jack the Ripper, I've got another one coming soon. I hope that comes before my old day so I can read it on all day. Um, so every now and again, I think, mm, I want to read something different on Jack the Ripper. I go on to... Uh, a group on Facebook called Ripperology Books and More, so it's all about it's true crime mostly. Um, and I have a look, see what people are recommending, and then I'll go and see if I can track it down. Every now and again, I'll go on to eBay and just 
have a look at what's for sale there and buy five or six volumes cheap or if I'm in a bookshop second hand and there's something I haven't got I'll pick it up some of the books are terrible some of them are good it's like everything it's like you know what book should I read well read everything but take everything with a pinch of salt because it's the same with Marilyn there are books I would recommend uh, having read so many and there are books I would advise people to stay away from uh, but that's just because of years of reading and researching and some of the books I would say to stay away from are probably books that 20 years ago would have been a recommendation it things change with further research books are replaced newer volumes come out with different research as things have become available so for instance recently in the last 20 years last 10 20 years a lot of her files were released with her her receipts so there was this big claim that her um her maid or housekeeper mrs murray was washing sheets the night she died in the morning when the police arrived um and for years it was accepted that that is what was doing she was in the garage washing sheets photographs are subsequently um surface that showed the interior of the garage and it was just filled with stuff um, there was no room for a washer dryer or a washing machine um, another thing is that things like she'd ordered furniture and it was being stored in there before it was being put into the various rooms of her new house because she hadn't been living there that long she I think she moved in in the April and she died in August so something like that anyway so she for instance the sofa that she ordered which is now owned by Greg Schreiner arrived the day she died arrived the weekend she died and I think it was probably put in the, what, the guest house because you know, there was no room in the, the garage um, and subsequently um, no purchase receipts for a washing machine have ever shown up there are purchase receipts for other things and there are receipts from a cleaning company so she would send all her clothes bedding everything out to be cleaned you know it wasn't done in house she didn't do it in her house so there's no way that mrs murray could have been washing the sheets at uh, that time of night because there was nowhere for her to wash the sheets there are photographs of a washer and a dryer top loader in a room that is said to be her house in brentwood but it's actually the house she uh, lived in with arthur miller in connecticut um, it's their laundry room, their utility room. I think most of her house would have, filled, would have fitted in that room, to be honest. <laughs> so there's, there's lots of little things like that that you learn by um, reading various things. Uh, one of the Ripper books people are a bit antsy about is, this, most of them actually, is a book called The Five, which is about the victims which is fine there's nothing wrong with the book about the victims and nobody said they shouldn't be looked at and treated with respect um but this person is a revisionist and she's revising this is a woman and she's revised their history to say that not one of them was a prostitute but most of them were and i'm not saying they all were because i wasn't there but you've got to remember that they these poor women lived in a time when they had no rights like we have today so today i can own my own property if i if i want to this house is in paul's name which is fine i don't have a problem with that but i can own a house i can own a car i can vote i can have my own money i've got my own bank accounts and you know i've got my own credit cards i've got my own independence i can do what i want within reasons of the law but back then a woman who was unmarried belonged to her father a woman who was married belonged to her husband and so did all of her items and a woman who was divorced had nothing no rights nothing so these women had probably no homes nowhere to go no money and very very little work so there is evidence that some of them worked as um, selling knickknacks and bits and pieces at markets and, you know, street trading and, you know, doing that sort of work. But when that work wasn't available, a woman would sell what she had and that was her body. And there's no shame in it, I don't think. And there certainly wasn't 
and I, I think that uh, there's no shame in that at all for those women. I think it's sad that they had to do it, but I I don't think any the less of them. In fact, I think more of them for being so bloody brave to, to do that. Right, so that is not quite finished because I have missed a bit. Again, what colour was I using? It was teal, wasn't it? Oh, see, I keep missing bits. I have got a bit of a headache, but I think that's just the remnants of not sleeping much last night. So they, they they were very brave women to live like that and to know, because they knew after the first killings, that there was a serial killer, not that they called it a serial killer, there was a killer out there who was targeting women who were prostitutes, who had no choice but to walk the night and pay for, uh, get men to pay for sex. They still did it because they had no other choice. Yes, a lot of the time their money went on alcohol, but if your life was as grim as theirs was, yours probably would too. And you got to remember, the pubs were open all night then. The pubs only closed. The pub, pub closing that we have in the UK now, um, or did have it, they recently changed that you could open all night if you had the right licence, but you still had to get the right licence, was brought in during the Second World War. It wasn't so always like that. Pubs in Victoria, they were open 24-7. They may have closed on Sundays. But they were. And in fact, you know, people would go for a hair of the dog the next day at, at 7, 8 a.m. It's only the, only the World, Second World War that brought in pub closing as we know, or one of the wars, might have been the first, but definitely the second that brings in pub closing as we know it. Same as the lights going, the the uh, time change from putting the clocks back and forward comes from the wall. Anyway, we have finished the marker work on this picture. Hooray! Like I said, I've got to, it's hardly noticeable actually. I've just got to see if I can fix this mistake down here. It's just here. You can't really see it. It's not a major issue. I'm not that worried about it, but so this is the marker work all done now. So in the next video, we will go over it with some pencils. We'll give them a bit of blusher on their cheeks and we'll put a bit of color in their hair. We'll do the labels. We'll leave the notes as they are. I might put some black glitter on the notes just to gild them up a bit. And we'll shade the shoes and the socks in because we haven't done anything on the socks. Put a bit of definition on the skirts and the blouses and stuff. A bit more on the skin. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's nearly an hour long, so I do apologise. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to come back for part three. I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.